Uh, yo, what's up, guys? All right. Um... Oh, shit. That was good. All right. Ernest. Let's do a Reddit recap. Ernest uh, will be missed. Who's everybody voting for in the Super Bowl right now? Because motherfucking ass. Uh, I, don't, I mean, I don't really care about sports, to be completely honest. I'll probably watch it just because everyone else is watching it, but I don't really know. Like, I guess I guess the Rams because like the Patriots always fucking win. Like the underdog should always fucking win. Hold on, why is your mic so? Is the mic actually bad? It shouldn't be. Hold on, because this is a really good mic. Hold on. Oh, I know why. Oh, that makes sense. Hold on. Okay. Hey, is this is gain. Hello, hello, hello. Oh, that should be better. Okay, I just turned the gain down and all the fucking mixer stuff, so that should hopefully be good. Um, <clears throat> yeah, the Rams, uh, they're your local team. Well, I'm not local to L.A., but, yeah, the Rams uh, hopefully are going to win. If I was betting in sports, I'd bet for the Rams because everyone's probably going to bet for the Patriots because Tom Brady's a cheater and all this other fucking bullshit. So, I don't know. Leak, you leaked her number? What the fuck are you talking about? She didn't seem like she's getting any calls. When the fuck did I leak her number? What do you mean? I gave the phone away. I gave the phone to Voldasad, and I literally put my hand over her number. Her number definitely is not leaked, dude. That's, uh, I don't know about that one. A lot of white noise. Okay, this is a weird mixer then. I have no idea. Okay, let's do a Reddit recap. <clears throat> All right, so <clears throat> let's see. First post that we have that is actually <laughs> pinned here by a moderator. Why are y'all saying F4? Hold on, let me just listen back to the microphone. Hey, Ice, do you need another dev? I'm actually a real one with a job at Little Dokes on Twitter. Hello? Hello? Test, 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 test. Hello? Test, 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 test. Oh, there's white noise. I don't know why. Yeah, I don't know why there's white noise. Was this? Was there, moth fucking Poseidon. Was there white noise before? Chicken is going to be in a better place with their chicken friends and maybe meet Rooster and live happily ever after. Was there white noise before? Um, It's definitely my mixer. I don't know what it is. Um, let's see, hold on. And then turn this down so it's not loud as fuck. And, and then, then if we do, do this, this, how does, does that, that sound? sound? Greetings, everybody. How are you doing today? I am the ghost of Ernest the Chicken. I'm just kidding. Um, all right, so basically. Let's look at Reddit. And let's see what we got. Uh, let's see. In honor of Lit... Haunted Mansion stream. Jake Paul, Normie Poseidon Flair is now available. Wow, that's awesome. Hey, fuck you guys. I like the Haunted stream. I Listen, listen. It was scary as shit, dude. I don't really, like, like shut the fuck up. I like Haunted shit. Whether you believe in ghosts or not, it's just fun to do. It's like when you watch fucking Ghost Hunters. It's just fun to do. Uh, I was actually scared, though. People were like, oh, you're overreacting. Like, no, I was actually pretty fucking scared because... Uh, I just, I just got bad vibes from the fucking girl I was with and like she was, she believed it so much that I believed what the fuck she was feeling as well. So to be completely fair with you, uh, hate thread for, <laughs> from the future for ditching ice hate thread from the future for ditching Tony. Um, I'm not going to ditch Tony. This is literally in my calendar. As long as it actually happens, why would I not go? Tony is like a good fucking dude. And like, I would like, I wouldn't ditch him, dude. Like. Um, I've known him for a while, and this is actually really exciting. Like, I've never met Tony. I would love to meet the dude. So, the I would never, motherfucking, like, I wouldn't ditch him, dude, because I, you know, I, like, I've never met Tony. He's fucking awesome. He's like a good meme. Yeah, like motherfucking saying Yahoo and shit. So, like, he's, like, you know, I'm sure a lot of you don't know what, who the fuck Tony is, but he's the one who said Emily only faced cancer once. Yahoo! Like, that's fucking... You know what I mean? So, thank you, my Tommy. Appreciate the member, dude. Um, 
Whenever Ice gets a girlfriend, he starts to think he's too good for viewers until they dump his ugly ass and he comes back crying. What are you talking about, dude? I, I, I don't. That's not true at all. Um, like, obviously. That's... I don't even know what this... <laughs> where you got that idea from? Um, let me see. Daily, Hampton, Brandon, Dan, Stone, to Paul has a good stream. Well, we're probably going to be watching this clip every single day for the next... Uh, until, the, until the rest of time. Uh, let me see. We just... Was just adding gifts to my collection when I saw this of EBZ. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's funny, dude. Keem, that's actually that's a that's an interesting meme. EBZ in a nutshell. Keem is 27k. Andy, after only one stream for a minute, what's your excuse, Paul? Well, I mean, Keemstar has got a channel with five million subscribers on something that's considerable. News. I mean, PewDiePie getting passed by T Series is a pretty, it's pretty big news, and he's drama alert, and that's literally what his channel's about. So I don't know. I don't think you can compare the two here. Uh, my face went. Nobody cares about Paul owing three days worth of donuts to a viewer because he just successfully, successfully distracted everyone from it. Um, well, I YouTube striked me. I didn't really have a choice crack. in the matter. You should go to the suicide forest for 24 hours, and that's one big schnauzer you have. Arabero. Okay. I mean, if I ever go to Japan, I probably will hit uh, go there. I mean, might as well. Why not? Hey, Ice, can you update us on the editing situation? Is Kenon still your editor? What is happening with Yuta Ross's channel? Uh, Kenon's not my editor anymore. Uh, Chad's editor is not my editor. Latoris's channel is going to be rebranded to CX Clips. And uh, if Latoris doesn't, doesn't do it, if Latoris doesn't change the branding on his channel to CX Clips and give us manager access to the channel, then we're just going to strike it and remove it. That's what's going on. Um, because I'm tired of all these fucking channels getting views for the content that is going on around here. And if, and you know, if and here's the thing, Latoris can still keep the, the ad money. He just needs to brand it so it advertises my channel as well. Um, that's basically what we're going to be doing right now. Did you just think about my girlfriend? <laughs> bro, I almost banned that Uber driver. I'm not going to lie. He was talking shit, bro. He was just saying like, don't point that camera at me. Like motherfucker, no one's pointing the camera at you. So just throwing it out there. I mean, it could be true. This has to be SJ's idea. You can take Ernest to KFCs and ask if they want her. It'd be really, really funny content. That was actually Reddit's idea. I mean, to be completely fair, I remember seeing it on Reddit a while ago. He had so many memes in comedy. Please add him back to the network. He accidentally leaked an address and got perma banned. Um, yeah, but he's accidentally leaked addresses like five different times, dude. Um, taking Ernest to KFC was my idea. <laughs> What's your problem? <laughs> okay, dude. Um. Yeah, EBZ does have a lot of memes and comedy. I got to figure out what what to do because I, I like my EBZ. Because your retarded manager leaked the new site. Thank you, dude, very much. Um, I know a chicken when I see a chicken. This motherfucker was on some bullshit, honestly. Petition for TSA to quit streaming to, for being an embarrassment for both parties. Albanian Chad. <laughs> okay, British Virgin. That's who is that? Why is Jenna hanging out with this guy? Okay, I have no idea, but. TSA is a good streamer. He was pulling almost 3K viewers the other day. Uh, so, I mean, people talk a lot of shit, but he's pulling a pretty good amount of viewers Stuff. for... Stuff.com developed by stream. Thank you very much, dude. Let me see. Jesus fucking Christ, this isn't edited. He actually looks like that. Uh, what do you mean? His dead scene. He looks fine to me. What is this? Damn. It's best to just go pack up and go back to London. I mean, TSA is doing pretty good, so I'm, I don't think he's leaving anytime soon until he isn't doing good anymore, I guess. Mexican Andy looks like that dude from Fat Albert. So I saw this, and uh, what the fuck? I'm not logged. I hate fucking new Reddit. I don't actually know, like, why he did this. I didn't, I, I didn't see the fucking stream. Um, Mexican Andy found himself a new girl. She lives in New York. She flew him out. She is not only a sugar mama, but a beautiful girl for Mexican Andy, and I'm very proud of him. He is growing up to be a fucking... He's, he's just... He's growing up, dude. Like, that's fucking awesome. Um, I don't know if, like, 
he made that public on his stream, but he, I'm pretty sure that's his like girlfriend, dude. <laughs> uh, the girl he's hanging out with. So fucking congratulations to him. That's fucking awesome, man. Like that, that is cool. Um, and he's going to come back in, I think he's got in New York for a month. I think he's going to be back in LA in March and then, you know, it'll be good. You call that growing up? Well, Mexican Andy went from having, you know, I don't know, like farmer Charlie pay for a hooker for him or like whatever to now having a girl who's like paying shit for him and like fucking, you know, his girlfriend, like he's doing a good job. That's awesome. Let me see. Demon Andy looking like this too. <laughs> oh man, dude. What was his show called? I forgot. Death clock, dude. Fucking death clock, homie. That's some funny ass shit. Let me see. I just invited John Zerka to CX already. Who the fuck is John? Oh, John crying. Jerka, yeah. I didn't invite him, but he, I mean, if he wants to, he can. He seems like a cool guy. Uh, called TSA, he's crying. Uh, I mean, TSA's chilling. After taking a look at Ice, his crew, and his house, a desperate homeless lady decides that she'd be safer sleeping on the streets. Do you guys really think... Do you really think that it would be safer sleeping on the streets at my house? Like, I don't understand. Like, I, I really, I don't get it, dude. You know what I mean? Like, how can you possibly think that? Like, dude, there's, like, there's not, we're not, like, we're the nicest looking people you've ever seen, right? Like, I'm, well, I mean, we're just, like, skinny little fucks. Like, there's nothing intimidating about us is what I'm trying to say. Uh, let me see. Biggest cuck in L.A. He had a thought in his car with a difficulty level set to very easy. She gave him many signs she was down, even invited TSA up to her place. But he's still driving alone and fap in the shower. <laughs> I mean, I can only assume there's a reason for that. Hold on. Let me uh, ask him here. Whoever talks crap about Mexican Andy doesn't have a very successful life or they just have very low self-esteem. I agree How with yeah, that. Mexican, get that dude, Mexican Andy's a good ass dude. Um, How can we get Mexican Andy in the streamer house? He's proving himself as a streamer and definitely deserves it. He was a class act in Hawaii. Come back over here. I agree. Mexican Andy, I, I would give him a you trial in the house. You said Dibs would take a bullet for you then two minutes later ask High Phonics what you should do. Sophia called them a mother fucker we seen before he called her a bitch. EBZ was the most loyal CX guy to you. Well, maybe I'm misunderstanding the situation. Chat. Who is in the wrong? EBZ or Hyphonics? Or actually, I'm going to reword that. Should EBZ be on the network? Yes or no? That's, that's how it should be reworded. Um. Why is our VND still on the network? <laughs> Also, the website been down unless you hit Alt F4 for some people since Sam left. What's all that about? Get rid of the Pepper Pal death. The website been down unless you hit Alt F4 for some people. What yeah, you... not, it's not been working on my phone. I don't know if anyone else is having that problem. Well, looks fine to me. Um, okay. EBZ, EBZ, EBZ. It seems like EBZ uh, was in the wrong here. I think I got the situation correct. Um, okay, so what, 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 what happened? There was a thought in your car. She asked you to go up to her place, and you said no? I never said no. That's what this says. Biggest cock in LA had a thought in his car <laughs> with, the, with the difficult level set to very easy. She gave him many signs that she was down and even invited TSA up to the place, but he's still driving home alone and fat in the shower. <laughs> um, what is that, what's all that about? What is that? I don't know how these guys get the easy level like how do these guys it's not easy. you're driving a corvette dude it's and she easy. asked you to go up to her place apparently she didn't she didn't i don't i don't remember she invited me over okay well you're driving a corvette very nice car yeah any girl will get herself wet seeing it and you're a good looking guy i don't know you're a good looking guy i couldn't feel it i couldn't feel it i, I just couldn't feel it because you, know? you didn't grab her if you want to feel it you got to take a grab i don't what I'm trying to say is, it's very easy because you have a Corvette and you look the way you do. Okay? If you were only use me Blade, 
The difficulty Hard might be a little higher. Harvey J and DBZ to the farm to teach them a lesson in streaming. They can stream on the farm and learn the hard way. David's grandma said she would take in Harvey J. <laughs> Bro, Harvey J on the farm? No. Actually, I mean, that's a funny idea, but we cannot put... No, we cannot put EBZ and Harvey J on the farm, dude, to learn how to be streamers. Yeah, yeah, learning how to be streamers, dude, uh, on the farm. That's... That's what we'll call it. No, I think the problem is, right, I, when I read the chat and then- Kiara let's... Kitty in Los Angeles would be amazing content. Fly her out. I mean, we just might. I think when it when I, when I do like make moves like touch her, they're like creepy, Weinstein, and it puts me off, it really does. Okay, but as long as- TSA, do you want to address why you had a boner sitting next to Luber Yikes? <laughs> what? As long as the girl doesn't say that, it doesn't I matter. Boner, guys, what the hell? No, so they're sitting next to Luber, they, or Uber, they said. I don't know. He said, you're, never mind. I don't know. But as long as the girl doesn't say that, you're fine. Okay. So I need Dude, to I've touched so many girls so that, are just, more like, that are just like, just be like fine with it. Just grab her like this. Like, just grab her like, like, like what? No. Like this, and then, and then just go and Make a strap case. hole for him. Well, something Game like that, yeah. Even if were peacefully talking, and you can hear Sophia calling him a mother fucker in background while he's driving, then he called her a bitch. Er, all right well we'll just put this to rest as well just like we put the other thing to rest we're gonna do a straw pull who's in the wrong ebz hyphonics fuck it put him back on the network all right we're just gonna put this to rest right now then huh because lexi said she'd rather kiss play than tsa Oh man! Why did my name Kappa one two three when I when I typed that? That's weird. Um, Lexi said she would rather kiss Blade than TSA. Did she say that? She said she would kiss Blade, but not me. Even though, even though she said right, somebody donated the two dollars. She was like, "Hey, kiss tracksuit," and she was like, "No, you need to donate a hundred dollars." Somebody donated a hundred, and she was like, "No, I'm still not gonna kiss you." But she would kiss only use me. Bro, all you gotta do is get her drunk. Um, to be fair, I I don't really want to do a CX News with the Hyphonics and EBZ for that situation because I feel I feel like that's wrong because like doxing is like a very toxic thing. Um, like if they were just fighting about something stupid, CX Court. But since an address was leaked, it's like highly toxic, and I don't even want to encourage that. But um. I mean, no, I, I, I don't know, dude. When, who's the last girl you had sex with? Here. Uh, let me see. Love from Sweden. Love you, Ice Ice Baby. Thank you, Nucky. Oh, I think Laura. Fucking SCD Andy, shut the fuck up. It was on Reddit and deleted. You were doing a Reddit recap and stood up with a boner sitting next to Luber. It was on the front page and deleted. Come out closet. Wow. What are Wait, you why would it get deleted, though? Wait, no. What? you No, you're... I know I'm nice no boner. Scuffed .com, scuffed .com, I don't scuffed. think you would have had a fucking uh, a boner next to Uber, dude. No, I wouldn't. But that's, I mean, man, I don't know. Laura, dude? Yeah. Love from Sweden. I love you, Ice Ice Baby. Thank you. You know she uh, DMs me on Twitter almost every day. Bro, she DMs me nonstop. And she's like, can I come over? I'm like, I just ignore her. She um, doesn't like him. She made it clear he asked her to shower stream. Said he was 50% gay and lied that he didn't. You talk asked to Lexi Jedi for a shower stream? No, because I read also the comment got in the chat. from the party. I read the comment in the chat. The chat was like. Grim already uh, leaked multiple times that they will all meet up on February 15th in LA. Whoop whoop. I don't know what you're talking about. Um, So, I read the chat, right? He was like, do a shower stream with that. And I was like, you know what? Let me just ask her. Might as well. I, I also, let's do a shower stream with like clothes on. And she was like, no. Might as well. Now, I need to get... Tracksuit in the streamer house or riot? Bro. Tracksuit in the streamer house or riot? Um, listen. If I read the chat, and I read something in the chat that's like rape her... Well, I'm not gonna do that. Does that make it okay? No. Shower stream... I mean, hey Lexi, you want to have a shower stream with clothes on? That's good content. Hey Lexi, can I fucking finger you with clothes on? So that's not a good idea. 
No, it's a great idea. But it, it definitely comes off as weird as fucking creepy. Shit. I mean, if you would have, if she, if she would have said yes to that, that would have been awesome. And I would watch that. I'd probably, I'd probably, no, I'd, 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 I'd watch it. But if it doesn't work, you come off as creepy. That's why they, the chat says the shit they do. They're not going to say creepy if you're just like touching a girl, like in the car or something. Yeah. Classic TSA always cucking himself. TSA has her piece. <laughs> I mean, hopefully not, but all right, so here's the straw poll. He's a good guy at the end of the day. Yes, he belongs on network, but he needs to stop being so sensitive too. If he called my girl a beat, she'd beat F out him. So, this is uh, the consensus here. ABZ in the wrong based on the straw poll. Um, but it seems like people want him on the network as well. And I'm sure you guys understand why he's not on the network because. Leaking addresses is toxic, but, you know, like I said, I think we should revisit this network. Like, we, we know who's in the wrong, but we should revisit whether he should be on the network. Because, I mean, I personally want him on it, so, like, I like EBZ. I don't know. I don't know if that's biased or whatever, but, um, yeah, we'll see. TSA Ice, the Super Bowl game is about to start. Wow, yeah, that the Super Bowl is about to start, yeah. What are you going to do? Uh, no, nothing. Oh, I thought you were going to do something. Imagine actually updating your fan base and making money. You must be an actual streamer. <laughs> fuck it, dude. Oh, man. Fuck Ice for using Ernest for content when Volta clearly doesn't want him to. I mean, we don't have a choice, dude. If I mean, Volta said can keep Ernest, but then he wouldn't be able to go into the fucking streamer house. You know what I mean? Like, we can't bring Ernest to the house. Um... Right, so you see that Reddit post where it says TSA the biggest loser in the party? Like, how, I need your opinion on that. I don't. Well, I wasn't really. I didn't, I didn't watch what happened. Uh, like, how do you balance? Okay, so I'm in the I'm in the house party. How do you balance? Like, I don't know. Trying loud music, trying to get content at the same time, but you're the only one there. You don't know anyone there. How do you balance it? Cause like you want, I want to just go people. and talk to people. What you mean? But sometimes they can't hear because of the loud music. And Fucking like, yell. Just, just yell. Talk loud. All right. Oh, that's what I do. If I go to a party, I just talk to everybody, fucking talk loud. Be, I be, I make sure everyone is staring at me at the party. Even if they're staring at me in, like, a really bad way and, like, laughing at me. Who gives a fuck, dude? Like, at least it's good for the stream, you know? True. All right. Thanks for the advice. Catch you guys later. <laughs> okay, later, dude. Fucking, or I just fucking turn the stream off and fuck girls or something. Like, I don't know. I try to fuck somebody at the party. If that doesn't work out, which it never really does, then I just go home and jack off and be sad. Um, yeah, I mean, well, I got to think about the whole EBZ situation, to be completely honest with you. It's, uh... Never ever mess with my stuff again, Paul. Is that clear? <laughs> of course. Scuff Steve Jobs, of course. Uh, let's see. What do we got here? Six, $72 Uber dude? No way. Proceeds to buy a $70,000 truck. Yeah, but the seventy thousand wasn't my money. That's the like the Uber would be my money. That's the difference, dude. Um, I love those stupid insulting paid comment voices. Yeah, it's called uh, Texas speech. Is really interesting, isn't it? Exploiting animals. No, listen. We at the end of the day, we found Ernest a good place to live. Okay, at the end of the day, she's gonna be a lot more happy than here. She's going to be a lot more happy than here. EBC thinks you're a racist because like, she was sleeping on like a trash can and shit, dude. And I didn't want her to. That's just where she wanted to go because that's where a bunch of food was. You know, from, What's the and, point of a poll if you ignore it? Why do you always ignore the community? Do you ever learn from your mistakes? EBC is not one. Neither is TTSA. Well, 900 people said fuck it. So I guess I'll reword the, the situation. I'll just, I'll reword the situation because we know who's in the wrong and blah, blah, blah. So I'll do one more. EBZ on the network. And like I said, this is not like my decision base. This is just a general consensus so I can see, you know, what the people want. But at the end of the day, you know, stuff gets botted. Like I can't take, I take a lot of this with a grain of salt, you know, but let's see. EBZ and EBZ mods. EBZ kept challenging his viewers to post the address to prove that he leaked it. That was the bad part. People then donated it and wrote it because he asked. EBZ and mods confirm Ice Poseidon and Hyphonics are definitely racist. Ice Ice Baby. 
Uh, well, I don't know you, so probably not. But if you stream and you then I can fig- find you, then sure. They think I'm racist? <laughs> like, what are you saying, dude? Bro, okay. Like, I don't even understand, like, how you can even think that, dude. I stream, but I don't think I'm allowed to link it. Uh, you can link it in Streamlab donations. It's not Super Chat. Um, I mean, I don't think I'm racist. Like, I've given EBZ more than any black person more chances than anyone else, actually, uh, on the network. I'm trying to think, like, who... Like, what do you mean? Like, if I was racist, there would be no black people on the network. Like, right? All you have to watch the EBZ Grimoire convo from yesterday. He absolutely doesn't understand his wrongdoings, and he was rude as fuck to Grim. Watch EBZ slash Grim conversation. Call Grim about it. Yeah, I saw it. Um, That's solely why EBZ is not on the network right now, because he doesn't understand shit. And I, I'm trying to, you know, get him to understand shit, you know? But, I mean, that's the general consensus, huh? Well, I, I don't even know. Like I said, we're going to have to create a discussion in the community and, you know, think think on it because I don't like taking back my word and shit. So, because it just, it doesn't give value to my words. If I take someone off, there's no value to it if I keep putting them back on, you know? So, I really have no idea. Should I have to tell a 40-year-old man why leaking someone's address is bad? Well... Let me call EBC. Let's just call him. Although, I don't, actually, we don't even need to call him. I talked to him in DMs already, and... Let me see. And what he said in the DMs were just, uh, like, he... Just weird. Not racist BTW. He said, basically, what he, I, didn't want, I don't want to read the DMs, but basically what he was trying to say is, I shouldn't try to punish him because he's not a dog. <laughs> I guess I'll call him. Let me see. Where's my phone? Like, I, but he has the wrong idea. Like, I'm not trying to treat him like a dog. It's just like, if you do something wrong, there's consequences. Like, that's not, that's not a behavior that you do only to dogs. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Like I, I, like, I don't know why you think uh, you're a dog. Like, that's like self-racist at that point. I'm not racist. You're self-racist. Not racist, by the way. You will set a bad example if you were to put TVs in back on. Doctors and swatters should never be associated with your brand, CX. I, just giving into the toxicity. I agree with that one. Um, let's see. What the fuck is this? M- Ice Poseidon's monkey impression. Again? <laughs> How is that racist? I'm impersonating a monkey, dude. Oh, <laughs> there you go. That's pretty good, yeah. That's pretty good, dude. What, what's the point, dog, of all these little, little, little motherfucking things, dog? I guess because the chat is posting tryhards. That's not my fault, homie. I'm just impersonating a monkey. I don't know. I don't Stop want the chat to post that. Chat. I don't want the chat to post that. I'm just, I'm just a monkey. Stop reading the normie chat. Okay, next. My lord and savior, Ice Ice Baby. Okay, next stream, I'll. Get the other chat on my screen. Um, <laughs> that's funny, dude. It's is the king of what aboutisms. If you tell him he has does something wrong, he always responds with what about such and such. He said everyone is leaked, so it didn't matter if he leaked Hyphenix. 
EBZ has no respect Thank you, Nagi. I'll look at your Twitch, bro. Alright, let me just call him, though. Let me, let's just see what the what his mindset is right now. After being off the network for a couple of days, let's just see what his mind, where his mind is right now, if he answers. Alright. Why can I why can I not connect to the Reddit? You have to log in on your Reddit account on desktop. Oh, what up, man? Yo, EBZ. Um, okay, so we were having that discussion on my stream about the situation with you and Hyphonics. And a lot of people are some people a lot of people actually like are why siding with you. What did Bone Clink say? You should watch the CX News. He says everything I'm saying, and he wasn't even there. He's like laughing at the story, like, dude, this doesn't make any sense. And I don't even know this guy. You, I've actually hung out with you. Like, you get his thought, I find it's made more sense. The guy's girlfriend insulted me. Like, I would never let anybody who I know insult you or anybody that we have interacted with because it'll be pathetic. Like, if there's a way to talk to this person, let's talk to him. Why are we insulting him? So. In your mind, what, what is what exactly? So, because we, we the chat seems to think. So I did straw polls, and the straw polls were, they want you on, they want you back in the network, but they still think you. The majority still think you were in the wrong, but a lot of people siding are siding with you as well. And all I really wanted was, um, for you and Hyphonics to come to a compromise. That's all I really want. I mean, listen, Hyphonics is like I've said numerous times he's a gentleman i mean for me not to say that would be forgetting what i've seen so i just think he was riding on what his girlfriend went about she doesn't know me so she's just a girl from god knows where who is thinking or feeling whatever she wants but i have to say this ebz hyphonics was not the one who swatted you that was some stupid fucking person watching one of the well, streams and then even then i mean they should have empathized even more it's like we're, we're getting at this guy. We just insulted this guy. He came over, came over to support us. On his way home, we called him and insulted him. Yes, he swatted us, but it was an accident. And he told us it was an accident. And then he gets home, and the police are there. And then he gets kicked No, no, out. hold on. EBZ, no, Hyphonics did not swat you. No, I know. I'm saying that's oh. why we should empathize with the story. Because the only reason all, all those things happened was because I went out of my way to support something he was doing. Had I never gone there... He would have never, but I mean, it's almost like, I mean, you know, he should have, if he came to support me and went home and all these things happened on his way home because of coming to my house, I would have felt bad about it. Like, dude, I mean, you swatted, you, 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 you leaked my address. We have, life, there are worse things in life, man. It's, it's bad thing that, it's a bad thing that you leaked my address. We know it's a bad thing because I, who leaked your address, have found myself kicked out of numerous locations because I leaked an address where I was at in very uncomfortable moments. So I know how uncomfortable it could be for a person's address to be leaked. It's not like I've never been in those predicaments. EBZ, do you, I, do you understand that without you going to Hyphonix's event, it would have still been fine? What would have been fine? Hyphonix's event would have still went on and been know, successful I'm with saying, without I'm you. Saying, I'm not saying I added anything to his, to his event. I'm saying I went to his event. I'm not saying I blew it up or anything of that nature. I'm saying I went to your event. You invited me. I came. Hell, no cameras necessary. We could have been going to church. You called my phone and said, let's go out and take a walk. And I came. I could have told you I was busy. You should appreciate that. Because I was busy. I mean, for Christ's sake, I'm busy right now. And if you call me, I can say, meet me down the street. I will go to what I'm doing, but I'll double back around and come and meet you. That means I went out of my way to do what you wanted to do because I have my own inspirations. I know where I want to be at 8 o'clock and 6. If you call me to come, I came to you. You should be happy about that. And, okay, I understand. I leaked your address. I apologize. You should know that was an accident. But you insulted me. That has nothing to do with the, with the accident. The insult had nothing to do with the accident. That means you're conveying something to me that has nothing to do with what we're talking about. 
Because what we're talking about is elite dress. Like, it goes without saying, I don't want to do this. I don't want Jared Dress to do this. I mean, that's why it parked across the road. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I mean, cr- parking across the road isn't gonna stop his address from being leaked. They obviously know where it is. At the, still, think about it though. I, I don't know that neighborhood. <laughs> I come to the neighborhood. It's you send me an, an, an address. Listen to this, I Listen to this. You tell me to come to an address. I get to the address. I see where the building is, and so I park my car across the street from where the building is. <laughs> Keep in mind, the building has parking spaces added. I park across the street and walk. <laughs> Dude, they still know what the address is if you park across the street and then walk to it. Well, what I'm saying to you is, you obviously can tell the person did what they could to prevent that situation occurring. Obviously. Right? How, you did, I mean, you could have just turned the stream off. But, okay, you say you could have turned the stream off. You do realize it's at the same place where... I turned the street off when I got there. When I drove to his house, I parked across the street, turned the stream off, and walked to his house, which is exactly where I flipped my phone up when I got back, to, when I got out of his house. When I left his house, I flipped my phone up when I got to my car, because that's where I had turned my phone off. So I did what I thought was due diligence. It just wasn't as diligent enough. But still, you should give me credit. Everybody should be giving me credit for knowing that, okay, they they tried not to avoid it, but it, it leaked accidentally. Why um, Why didn't, you know? I, I just don't understand why not turn the stream off, bef- like a, a couple blocks down the road, turn it on a couple blocks away. Well, you know, Paul, I mean, I mean, I'm always streaming, my friend. I mean, every time I've come to your house, I have a stream on in the car. You know, I mean, I always have a stream on. I mean, I'm talking to you right now, and there's a stream on. I always, every time you've called me, there's been a stream on. So I forget that you guys are so sensitive about this and that. I walk in and out of my premises with my stream on 24-7 every day of the fucking week. So I don't, you know, you guys are more sensitive than these in these situations. I can understand why. But at the same time, you can understand why sometimes I might forget your predicament in that sense. Because I'm always with a stream. But I hear what you're saying. I mean, I, 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 I had told him already at that time that I didn't do it intentionally. He knew that. As a matter of fact, when you were telling you what happened, he mentioned that he was aware that I parked across the street to avoid turning, and I turned my stream off across the street. He was aware I did what I could, but he doesn't respect me, and his wife doesn't respect me either. So they decided to discard what they knew about my efforts and focus on the things that they, they could have ridden with, the things that they could have, you know, they, they could have blown up. I mean, not to mention, you guys have a conversation that you know about three weeks earlier. So and I, I'm do you... Do with, do I'm you, guessing it had to do with him moving somewhere into a, the streamer house that you guys are creating. So with that in mind, why would he... Why would he, uh, you know... Come at me that way. I mean, still, it is what... <clears throat> so do you apologize to Hyphonics? I already told him I didn't do it intentionally. He knows that. That was before his wife came and insulted me. After the insult, there was no apology necessary. He already knew that I didn't do it intentionally. Uh, yeah, but even if it's unintentional, you should still apologize. Yeah, he, he got the apology when he called me. That's <laughs> how. That's why I'm saying he and I were talking as men. We were being modest about the conversation. He called me saying, "Hey, I got this situation going on," and I was like, "Oh man, okay." But da 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 da. And all of a sudden, somebody starts to assault him. So he already got his apology. Okay. Um, so another reason. This, this is actually the main reason why I'm calling. Um, do you think I'm racist? I don't think you're racist. I think you crack racist jokes. And sometimes you, well, you, you forget to realize the fact that when you guys crack these racist jokes, when other tense moments come about, the person who you were cracking the racist joke towards is a great chance that a person would, would feel that these tense moments are coming up coming about because you don't have as much respect for me to begin with i mean that's the only reason i would be cracking two jokes at a jew and then the next i'm not a jew though i'm not jewish <laughs> not you not you i'm saying if i was cracking hispanic jokes at some hispanic laughing at some hispanic joke and then all of a sudden where uh, me and my black friends are now arguing with this hispanic guy about something that's more serious than the hispanic joke we we're cracking earlier it just goes without saying, like, come on, you're one against many versus all of us respecting you when you get there, and then all of a sudden we have a problem with you. It makes it, it feels more as an, as a, of, a, of an even playing field. I don't think you're racist. I just think 
you don't realize sometimes when you crack these jokes, the racial jokes, like some people are actually more sensitive towards them than you are. You're not black. You don't know the, what it feels like to be standing in a crowd of people who are all of a different race, all laughing at some nigger joke. Like, come on, I laugh along because, I mean, what else am I going to do? I'm not going to sit around and start being mad, but it's like those who are watching me from the outside looking in are saying, wow. I mean, and I'm dude, <laughs> so did you just say you don't know what it feels like to be black? Is that basically what you just said? No, I said you don't know what it feels like to be black. I mean, but there's know, nothing wrong. But there's nothing wrong with being black. You just insinuated that there's something wrong with being black, which makes no, you I mean, racist. I say, I say, it's just like I don't know what it's like to be you, right? I mean, I don't have a, uh, a website with a bunch of streamers on it. You know what I mean? Like, I don't have several hundred thousand followers. I don't. I can't put myself in your perception. I can try, right? But I, I can know all I would, I would be doing is guessing. So I'm not saying you don't know what it's like to be black, and I'm not saying black is bad. I'm just saying when you think you're cracking a joke and everybody should understand it the way you're understanding it, keep in mind other people have different emotions. Right. I mean, I just hope you don't think I'm actually... I'm not racist, dude. I make racist no, jokes sometimes, but it's like a joke, you know what I'm saying? Racist, you would not have taken me to a no-jumper interview when you first met me. I'm sure you would have made it, made it a, a good first stream at home and left it at that. You didn't need to take me to a podcast, which could have blown me up right after that. So I'm not thinking you're racist. I'm just saying you're can you're 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 sometimes aloof to the insinuations that you make, which is understandable. I mean, what are you 23? So sometimes you just you probably haven't been in all these predicaments that would highlight how people perceive certain things. It's funny because. You're more sensitive towards the word swatting than the word nigger. Right? I'm more sensitive towards the word nigger than the word swatting. Yeah, well, the, there's a difference, dude. The word the word swatting can get you killed. The word the N word cannot get you killed. A lot of people killed. The word nigger has gotten a it's gotten a whole generation fucking killed. What are you talking about? Like I on. mean, not a generation that you were a part of. Or unfortunately, thank God for that, you know, I mean, but still the empathy runs deep. I empathize. I mean, I, sure, I mean, I empathize with it too, but I mean, I, but, I mean, I don't know, why, why'd the chicken cross the road? Is that right? Why'd the chicken cross the road? I don't know, you tell me. <laughs> to get away from EBZ. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm just fucking with you, dude. Oh my God. I just, I'm, I'm glad we're talking like this, Paul, because you shouldn't have been in this conversation to begin with. Those was between me and Hyphonics. I know. I just, uh, I don't really care about the situation, to be completely honest. I think you're funny, and I like you. Uh, I just need to figure out what to, well, I just need to, I just need to continue thinking about the situation. Like, I want to add you back, but I know a lot of people will feel disrespected if I do, so... Yeah, I mean, it's my network, but EBZ, I have to understand that if people feel disrespected by it, uh, you know, I'm going to listen to that. Man, I don't know what you're talking about, man, but uh, if I'm running a company and I have a decision I make, you don't have to like my decision. That's the decision I made. You either respect my decision or you don't respect my decision. And I'm bringing XYZ on board. So you're going to show them love or you're going to tell me you don't respect my decision. That's what it's like when you're running a company. What are you talking about? Uh, and that's and that's probably why you're not running a company. <laughs> well, I've been in many situations where a person is saying, that's my decision, you like it or not, this is what I'm doing. And right now you're saying all this, saying, nothing happened. A person leaked an address accidentally. Like, really? No one got shot. No one got killed. You put SJC back in the network and his brother ran up on you with a fucking gun. What are you talking about? I mean, you got a good point there. SJC. versus an address? I mean, the difference the the difference was that you've you've leaked many addresses, EBZ, and not just high. You, this is a pattern, dude. This is like a reoccurring pattern. Not 
conniving about things. You trying to underhand my my moves. That means way more than you insulting me behind my back. That means way more than me than you leaking my address. What you do accidentally is what you do accidentally. What you intentionally try to freaking uh, uh, portray. Like DJ calling, like all the things to come on. That's just his brother ran up on you with a gun. All right, well, I'll put it this way. Because, <laughs> EBC, I'll put it this way. Because I, I like you, but I don't want to disrespect, uh, you know, I don't want people to feel disrespected. So, here's what, this is what we can do. You should learn from your mistakes and try to change those mistakes. A.K.A. not, if somebody asks you to delete a VOD, just, like, just do it. You know what I mean? Like, if somebody asks you to apologize, like, just do it. Like, who cares if you're in the right? Like, who cares? Like, just do it. You know what I mean? Like, uh, it's, like, just, just be a little bit more like, uh... Put, put yourself in other people's shoes a little bit more, you know what I mean? So that's all I want from you. No, you got it, brother. You know, you know, you got it. You know, and I appreciate this phone call. Um, you, you got it. I mean, you, come on, Paul. You and I never find ourselves in these predicaments. Like we never find ourselves in a screaming, cursing match. There's a reason for that. I don't even find myself in a screaming, cursing match with Sam. Usually, I tell him a few things, and then we're done with that conversation. But idiots. You might find yourself in that situation with because it's kind of hard for you to convey the basics to them. But I understand what you're saying. You know what I mean? I definitely understand what you're saying at the end of the day. EBZ, people are saying that I'm just afraid of you. I'm, I'm afraid of getting slapped. But I that's not the case, dude. This like I'm not I'm not I'm not scared of you. Paul, I mean, afraid of. Come on. <laughs> like what am I scared of, dude? I don't understand. I wouldn't get into a screaming, yelling match with you. Oh, I don't know what people are talking about because I wouldn't get into a screaming, yelling match with you. Like, our, our experiences, I would rather leave our experiences as is than to taint them with negativity. Believe me. I agree with that. All right, well, thanks for the call. Um, I will uh, we'll think about it still and then uh, go, go from there, dude. All right, goodbye. Later. I'm not saying I'm letting him back on. We're just having a conversation, so that's all that was. I just wanted his. Uh, I just wanted to get in his in his mind and see what he was thinking. Play Zoe 101 for EBZ to get him in a good mood. Trust me. <laughs> fuck it, dude. What the fuck? Oh man, I I love EBZ, even though he does some the shitty stuff. The was an accident, but he crossed the line when he threatened to beat her up. Yeah, I mean he does some shitty stuff, but I still love him. He's still just so he's just funny, dude. EBZ thinks Hyphonix blank needs permission to talk like that. She can't speak for himself. He keeps saying Hyphonix shouldn't let his blank talk her mind. EBZ's mindset about women is weird. Strapple. Majority wants him off. Call high phonics. Not I don't need that. We already talked to him and all that. It was a long time ago. We already did all that. Um, yeah, e Ask QBZ if you like EBZ's e e e from Cameroon, dude. I don't think they have too many women there. So the women they have are like treated weirdly, I think. Like, I, I don't know. I think Africa treats their women differently than what American, to American people. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. But if you live in Africa, like in a little, in a little fucking thing, like I think they probably treat women differently, you know? Hey man, can you please check Twitter after you are done speaking with EBC? I DM'd you. My name is Christian Hikes. It's very important. So thank you, dude. I don't. All right, I got you, bro. Thank you very much, Christian Hikes. I'm not racist. I got My you. Shadow is black. Hard. That's what is true. Come on, bro. Always lying. What is this? I don't think people think I'm a racist. I think how could. What was this slut Sophia doing outside the kitchen anyway? High phonics should put a leech on his girl. Alrighty. Uh, fuck it, dude. What is this? I don't think people think I'm a racist. I mean, how could they think I'm a fucking racist? Ice, you have no backbone. You're a pussy. You never do what you want to do what someone else wants. If you want him on the network, put him back on fuck someone else's opinion if they have issues. Yeah, but I'm also friends with high phonics, and that's really disrespectful, you know? I'm not saying that, dude. <laughs> no, no, it's uh, on the account that nobody knows about. Black people in the woodpile. Huh? Black people in the woodpile. What's that? And it's a book on Amazon. Black people in the woodpile? Or... Wood <laughs> or is it... Uh... Okay.
<laughs> yeah, okay, dude. Who wrote that? That wasn't me. Yeah, I I five starred this book. Clearly, that's not me. Obviously, that's a viewer. Why would no? Why the hell would I? I would never. I would never review that book on Amazon. What the, f like, of course not, because everyone would know that's me. <laughs> what are you talking about? No, I, that's, that's, come in. I saw that. I mean, it was a decent book, but. My name's Dad. Huh? My name's Dadney. Dad me? Dadney. Dadney? Yeah. What's up, bro? What's going on? What are you doing? I'm just chilling. <laughs> I have a business proposition for you if you want to solve problems. You have a what? A business proposition for you. Come here. Not like I don't want to come here. How old are you? I'm 19. You're 19. You have a business proposition. Yeah, I don't want to talk on camera though. Well, we have to. Dream. We're gonna talk on camera. No, I can't, I can't. What business proposition is it? Because no, I, I don't. People, people, well, for, well, people for, tell me business propositions all day. Okay. So I have a new rule where it has to be on stream very vaguely. Tell me what it is on stream. Otherwise, because what, because in private people just say shit that pisses me off because usually they don't know what they're talking about. And at least on stream, it can be content. Okay. I mean, just, um, I own a clothing line so, and I can get your like brand just a jump start if you needed it. Cause I know that people don't really like your um, clothing line. Right. Why do you think that is? Uh, because the person that's making the designs just, um, I don't know, doesn't really listen to the people, I guess. My designs are from Reddit. Literally the people. Okay. Well, they don't like it, so they definitely <laughs> need to have like, a change, though. You, like, you see what I'm saying? So is this your clothing line? No, this is not. This is mine. So what, what do you, I mean, uh, what, what would you suggest? Just give me one, like. Uh, um, dude, it's like, you just gotta, I gotta just read, like, I don't know, it's like. You got you would draw it and then. No, I'd graphic design it. I just have to, I don't really, like, can't explain it. Just, like, when it I mean, hey, I don't lose anything from taking up you and your offer. Okay. So if you want to draw me something, bring it to me. I'm totally down for that. Okay. And then, you know, if it's a good design, I'll show it on stream. It's a good design. Like, we can go from there. For sure, dude. Um, I mean, I don't really need to use your clothing line. You, I'll, just, I'll just use your artwork on this on my store. Eh. If you want to give what? a shot of, like, product, like, I can, like, I'm good at marketing, too. It's like, I, I mean, you obviously have a platform, though, but I can just... I can really maybe potentially get your clothing line like a jump start. Then how do you do that? I don't know. I, I make backwards clothing right now, so. Backwards clothing? Yeah. Okay. So how do you market it though? Uh, Instagram. I can like get on the front page and like, I don't know. How do you do that? Promoting. From what? In, like Instagram. I don't know. You like pay for ads? Yeah. Yeah, you look the right tags and all that shit, but. Fuck it, dude. I mean, hey, give me a, uh, we'll start with uh, this. Give me a. Uh... Wolf says a business card, so. Yeah, he has a business card? Yeah. Perfect. For so Team and Andy does. Like, what was it? All right, perfect. I'll get it from him, uh, and then I'll text you, and then text me like a design, and then we'll just go from there. For sure. Probably not going to use your clothing line, though. I just want to meet you, dude. It's like it's so good to meet you, bro. But, you know, we can go from there. Uh, yeah, dude, nice to see you, bro. For sure, man. Nice to see you, too. All right, see you later, homie. For sure. I, I had a gift for you, too. A right. gift? I got, yeah, but I'll, I'll keep it. What is it? Is it weed? No. What is that? Wait, hold on. What is that? What the fuck? It's not coke. It's not. You guys are retarded. Um, I don't. I can't tell you what he gave me because well, I could tell you, but I'm gonna respect him and not tell anybody because he obviously didn't want me to tell anybody. So, um, but it's not drugs or anything. It's like something just worth of heavy value is all I'm gonna say. Um, okay. Come and brew always lying. 
That was the one we just watched. With the book. <laughs> the Amazon book. You should initiate a three strike system. First strike, 25 hour ban. EBZ was just being EBZ. When things like this happen, you need to have a set time of ban based on severity. Stop pandering to people you beta cuck CEO. Uh, I'm not pandering to anybody. You in Hawaii, while everyone I'm just else trying to be respectful of Hyphonics, you know? EBZ saved you in Hawaii. Everyone hid in the car. Hyphonics got beat up by Vex. <laughs> Okay, that's kind of fucked up, but uh, he did help me there. Strike system. First strike is 24-hour ban from CX site. Second strike is one-week ban. And third strike is one-month ban. After that, they get kicked from CX network. Ibs never threatened her. HX called Ibs and Ibs apologized, and she got on the phone running her mouth and with jokes like, where are the shadow people? Did they get fleshed down? In okay, no, stop that. Okay, dude. Well, I don't fucking know, homie. I, I like I said, we'll just think about that shit. Um, I don't fucking know. All right. Well, listen, guys. I'm gonna go. Enjoy the Super Bowl. Fucking, it's uh, actually on right now. So enjoy it. If you don't watch Super Bowl shit, then fuck it. Tomorrow, same thing. Early stream, twelve o'clock. Uh, that's the plan. We're doing some uh something with Cassandra. So I'm not gonna. I was gonna tell you, but I'm not gonna tell you what it is. So keep that in mind, or keep that motherfucking ready to watch. Ow, fuck, I threw my foot over. Um, I'm actually going to go uh, move some of this furniture into uh, the other place right now because we forgot access. So I will see y'all tomorrow, same time, same place. Is someone in business with stream.me? And it's going to be fun. So thank y'all for watching. I appreciate it. Hope you guys enjoy the early stream. Uh, and I will see you guys tomorrow, okay? Peace out and goodbye. Love y'all. Mods, please host whoever's on the CX.